Hey guys, GPA Jesus here. Let's say you've been asked to fill out this table for a firm that produces toilet paper, cause why not? Try and fill out this table on your own first, as practice is the best way to master these types of concepts. So the first thing you want to do when approaching this type of question is get the easy rows out first. So we know that anything that relies on quantity in row 0, you automatically can't even calculate as it's impossible to divide by zero. The next easy thing we can do is find our fixed cost. The way we can do it here is using average fixed cost. AFC is simply FC over Q. So if we want to find what FC is, we multiply both sides by Q just like in algebra. So in this case, five, which is AFC here, equals fixed cost over the quantity, which is two. So let's multiply both sides by two and fixed cost is 10. Just by getting one part of fixed costs, we already know the entire column. As fixed costs are fixed and don't vary with output, we already got an entire column done just like that. So after getting the easy parts done, the rest of the problem is really just a puzzle, which when doing puzzles, we need to handle piece by piece. We know that AFC plus AVC is ATC. We just need to add them together to get ATC. And from average total costs, we can also use this to infer total cost. For the averages, you just multiply by the quantity to get the desired cost curve. In this case, 25 times 2 is simply 50. Wow, really hard math. From total cost and fixed cost, we can infer what the variable costs are as TC equals VC plus FC. To solve for VC, we just have to minus FC on both sides. 50 minus 10 is 40. As you can see, most of these type of questions is just looking for little bits of evidence and creating a conclusion based off of them. Your marginal cost is actually 50, so your total cost is 100. And your variable cost, total cost minus fixed cost, which is 90. So 90 divided by the quantity, which is 3, is 30. 100 divided by 3 for average total cost is 33.3. And fixed cost divided by 3 is 3.33. We can also easily find the variable cost here, which is total cost minus fixed cost, which is 10. And since we know the marginal cost here, 10 plus 20 is 30. Variable costs, the difference between total cost and fixed cost is 20. And here it's much easier to calculate the averages as it's just one. So we basically just rewrite all of it here. The change in total cost is 20. And then now we only have the final row to calculate. Since we already know what average total cost is, we need to find total cost, which we can multiply it by the quantity. So 46.5 times 4 is 186. So total cost minus fixed cost, 176. Marginal cost, with the difference is 86. Your fixed cost is 10 divided by 4, 2.5. And your variable cost, 176 over 4, is 44. So now we've completely filled in the table. However, what we need to check is, does this make sense? As you can see, average variable cost, it pretty much works. And for average total cost, it's first decreasing and then increasing again, like a swish. And for average fixed cost, as we can see, it's continually approaching a horizontal asymptote at zero. Total cost is increasing just as it should be. Variable cost is also increasing as it should be. And fixed cost remain constant. And marginal cost, although it's not going down and then back up, in this case, the slope is increasing. I just could have chosen better numbers. So that's one of the ways you can fill in a cost curve table. First getting the easy rows and columns done first, and then kind of figuring everything out with the information given to you. You just need to do a little bit of thinking and inferring for it. GPA Jesus, signing out. I died for your grades. Screw you, accountants.